if you're allowed to sit down after that really? and look at that that really? night, it, 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 not that not night, that night, night but you know, night. So look we, at we, that we night. We went back. I think, I think myself and I don't think me and Adam have actually looked at it, watched it together. I think we've watched it on separate, separate occasions. And uh, I think I watched the fight once after the fight, fully in its entirety. And even watching it, I'm thinking, I'm going to win in a minute. I'm the winner. <laughs> I'm not going to lose. How does this happen? But I wasn't. I wasn't physically, and mentally prepared. Yeah. to be in the sort of battle that I put myself in. I went out there and went toe to toe with a strong, yeah. tough veteran. And laughed, there, done called it. him in, full work. Every mistake you could make against the guy. It. And you know, I, I came close, you know, a couple yeah. of times the referee was close to stopping it in my favor. Could have stopped it. But yeah, yeah, I agree. I, the right decision was made. The right decision was made not to stop that fight yeah. because it taught me a, a valuable lesson and a lesson that I needed to learn at some stage of my career. So how did you come back from a, a loss like that when so much was being promised after that fight? Yeah. When in theory you got to do so much, how did you come back from a fight like that? Being you, crushed you, by you, an old obviously man Obviously, like mentally, you, it hurt. It really did hurt, you know, because uh, you have to ask yourself some serious questions. You know, am I as good as I think I am? You know, can I take a shot as, much, as well as I think I can take? You know, uh, have I got the, have I got what it takes to beat you know the top level? This guy is this guy, Carl Thompson was good, but he was, he was never been he was like, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he, was, he was old, you know. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. And I, I just think I just and, and I just had to realise I, I just got it wrong. This is boxing. You sort of look at look at the history of boxing and realise these things happen from time yeah. to time. You can't have it your own way all the time, yeah. and you've just got to just become a bit bigger and stronger man. You got to take things more seriously inside and outside of the ring. And I think it, I think it, it, the, the, the things that needed to fall into place have fallen into yeah. place because if that w if they wouldn't have fallen into place, uh, the same thing would have happened again against some of the other guys that fought. So you talk about the confidence in that fight. You know, part of what you what what what, what makes you, Dave, is that confidence. Yeah. So you know you're going to beat Mormick. You know you're going to beat Macronelli. Well, how do you keep a tight guard on that? How can you be that confident and not be too confident be in the ring? He's got to be realistic about you know, about what your strengths and weaknesses are and what your opponent can do and uh, pick a strategy and a game plan that which helps you which, win which, 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 in quite, which sort of uh, implements everything that the whole fight sort of has to offer and being a tough fighter I am I can stick I can stick to a game plan for instance the Mormick fight that was to the letter bar getting knocked down in the full round everything was but you couldn't do that Dean Thompson he was had a game plan then it was mentally, about I arm. couldn't do that no mentally I wasn't prepared to do that because it took the Thompson fight it took the loss it took the loss to get me to the point where okay I've trained day in day out doing a specific strategy I have to keep it even though I got knocked if down I, don't, I had to still keep the strategy and the strategy yeah. was you know my, I was going to win the second half of the fight yeah of course you know we were trained for a 12 round fight you knew early doors. You were gonna do a you were gonna do a more mech on him. Exactly. You know, people don't people don't expect me to come back late in fights, but all my training, you know, for, for from round seven onwards was we're gonna pick it up and go to work. And what happens? Seventh round, I end up knocking him out. Destroy so the first round I pick, pick I pick I mentally pick it up. Mm. You saw me before after yeah. the sixth round I sat down, I had a decent thing. I won the sixth round in order to yeah, yeah, brilliant, score brilliant round. And then say, right, it's time to go to work now. Mm. I thought here we go. I had a deep breath. Okay, arms yeah. are fine, legs are strong. I thought, okay. And as soon as I started to pick up gradually, the fight was over. Now, you know what Adam said, Adam said, you know, we're going to take him into the second half of the fight, we might have to get up off the canvas, but we'll yeah. stay controlled, then yeah. we'll go to work. Yeah, yeah. And what happened? You took him into the second part of the fight, kept the gap off the canvas, yeah. and ding, ding, round seven, yeah. you went to work. I mean, because, I, I mean, Adam and you just played that fight We're out. realistic about what, what, what boxing's about. We're realistic about me. Adam's not going to say, OK, I'm going to walk through every heavyweight's yeah, yeah. punches and... He knows that if I get hit by someone as quality as Mormek, the chances are if I get hit in flush, I'm gonna go no, down. I'm gonna go down. Of course, man. You know, but it's all about what you do when you go down. Do you get jump straight back up and fall back over again, or do you take, take your time, time, figure it up, figure it out, get through the round? And it's, 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 it's about being realistic. A lot of boxers, and a lot of coaches aren't realistic. They yeah. they see boxing in uh, in only one sense. Adam looks at it in the complete opposite way. He looks at all my bad strength, yeah. all my bad points. Because no one's invincible. Exactly, no one's invincible. And when you, I think, when you realise that you're not invincible, you, it so makes you, you a better. Swing and get better. 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 <laughs> yes, because well, I would guarantee when I'm before the moment, before the, sorry, the the, the Carl Topper fight, I would have thought I could have fought a peak Mike Absolutely. Tyson. And his punches would have bounced no, off. No, bounce off your chin, man. I thought, okay, I might have been knocked down by the gop and won easy. Yeah. Or Lance do I'd have smashed him to bits. Yeah, you, but you know, after you think, mm, okay, maybe not. You know, maybe. Just forgot about that drain. Yeah, exactly. How hard it's, it be, can it's, be. it's being really, it's being realistic, and and I genuinely believe that if I get my tactics right, if I'm in, I'm, I'm in perfect health, if things go the way 
I, I've trained for them to go, I will become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Just like I said, I'd do it at Cruiserweight. And after the Thompson fight, people thought I was mad. And I said, OK, yeah. I'm still going to become a uh, 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 Cruiserweight, Cruiserweight champion. champion. And I was fight. like, well, you couldn't beat cut a 40-year-old Cole Thompson. Now you're supposed to mm. beat these peak guys. But I proved that, you know, if you, if you get it right, you get it right. Last fight at Cruiserweight, yeah. Enzo McInerney. Biggest fight at Cruiserweight, biggest yeah. fight of your life? Though? Um, yeah, pu publicity-wise, yeah. without a doubt. Um, you know, to put me on the map on the world stage, that one did more than ironically the John Mark Mormick fight, which, so my, works, which in my opinion you know, was the big fight. That was the one, that was the tough fight that uh, that, that was always going to be hard for me. That was always going to be the one that I had to get the tactics right and have to get it 100% right. But not the night. one the public were going to want to get, but let's get it right. He was never, uh, I don't think uh, more than a handful of his uh, Mormick fights have been shown in the UK. Mm. People, he wasn't that household name, people didn't recognise him. But, McInerney was. McInerney yeah. was the guy who had the this big hype around All that him. Publicity. Massive publicity, massive hype. You know, he was a he was a guy with a he was promoter wrapped around him, saying he's the the future of the cruiserweight division. You know, he, he's done it right. He's done it. He's done it his way. And I just I saw through that big time. You did. I mean, when I was out in uh, Miami with you in the build-up to yeah. that, when you had that solitary cup a few months off, six yeah. weeks out there with yeah. Adam, you were so convinced. Again, it was that confidence thing. Yeah. You weren't overconfident, you just knew you could yeah, win. Yeah. And you knew what sort of fight it was. Yeah. You sort of predicted the end there yeah. as well. I know, so I told anybody that, listen, all my pals, they made big money on the fight. Yeah, I told, I told everyone, I think a, a pal of mine got a 17 to 1 on the second round. Wow. So I said, stick a lump on the first, and he said, split it even between the first and the second round. And uh, he did, and he, and, he's, and he was laughing at the end of it. I knew it was going to be a, a two-round job at best. He, there's nothing within his arsenal, physically, or anything he's done prior to that in any of his fights that show he could actually go beyond one or two rounds with something like Alibaba. But it was always the it was always the it was always the chance uh, at the, on the night it was going to be down to the guy who was the calmest. And a lot of people thought would it be Mac would it be Mac Some thought some people thought it would be you. Some people thought there was no way it was going to be you. Yeah. And there was some you know it was yeah. it really divided people what was going to happen on yeah. the night in the build up. But yeah. you seem to take it completely in the stride. Yeah. And Enzo Enzo was struggling on the night, wasn't it? It, it, was, it, was, it seemed it was quite farcical. The whole setup for that fight seemed farcical. It was weird. It was like nobody else could see what myself and Adam could yeah, see. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm on it's your like side. We I said, agree. okay, we, at no stage did we think that uh, his people would take the fight. We thought, no way. Uh, there's certain things happened prior to that fight. We tried to make the fight a few times. It didn't yeah. happen. It wasn't because of us. And we just we just uh, assumed, okay, they know, they know what happened if we ever fought, so they're not going to make it. Next thing you know, we signed the contract for the fight and we're like... Still stunned. It's still so like, oh, he's going to pull out sooner or later, he's going to pull out, he won't actually go through with it. Surely he's not stupid enough to go through with it, right? Yeah. And for some reason, they, they believed their own hype. They spouted yeah. so much hype, they believed their own hype. And it, myself and Adam, even was in the dressing room warming up for the fight. We, have a big, we had a big grin on our face again. Couldn't believe what was happening. Oh, like, as we said before, it's free, it was free money. We were just turning up to get a paycheck. Mm. That's all it was. So after that, you decide that's it. Enough yeah. of these cruiserweights. Yeah. They had a little bit of fun. Won a few belts. Twenty thousand people. Beating Macronelli, he's the big British guy. Yeah. Lots of publicity. The heavyweight situation. Yeah. Now that's a different kettle of fish. Because yeah, A, you've got to change weight. Yeah. And B, you got to. You can't knock over bums. You're not like one yeah. of those heavyweights in America that can fight eighteen bums. You haven't got yeah. eighteen bum fights yeah. in you. So yeah. you got to go serious. Yeah. That's complicated, though. Dave. It's complicated, but it's just something that well, if, you, if you get it right, it, it will look it will look amazing. You know, if we get it right, if we get fight two great two two guys who come to win who, who try and to pose the some problems, then we get a big one. It will look, you know, in years to come, it will look like we knew exactly what we were doing, we did the right things. It's just, you know, but the no one does division. it that way anymore. I know, Dave. I know, no one does. No it one that does way. it. You're not meant that. Don't, you know, that's that's what happens in the Rocky films. No, no. That's not meant to happen in real life. What's meant to happen in real life is you fight 15 bums, you wait for a calling card to fight an Eastern European, you make your two million, you lose, and you go and retire. That's, that's what's meant yeah, to happen. That's, that's never been me. That's never been me at all. 